Howdy gamers, welcome back to another Minecraft Xbox tutorial. Well, some of a Minecraft Xbox tutorial. It's mainly an Xbox tutorial, as I have been informed that there is an issue with downloading Minecraft on your Xbox. Now, thankfully to the good Samaritans of the Minecraft Xbox community, there is a method that I will be showing in this video. So without wasting any time, let's just get straight into it. What we're first going to do is we're going to head to my games and apps just up here or you could just press the xbox button and head to my games and apps next up what we want to do is we want to head to apps and then we want to find the microsoft store right here next up what we're going to do is we're going to press x it's going to launch up in this menu we just want to go right once to manage press a and we should be in this ui right here what we then want to do is we want to press a again and then scroll over to save changes. Now just like that, as you can see the Microsoft Store icon just disappeared and if we head back, there is no Microsoft Store anymore. Now what we then want to do is we want to hold the Xbox button on our controller. It will bring up with this pop up right here and we want to head over to restart console. And then we want to click on restart. Now then, since our console has restarted, we can now head over to My Games and Apps, head over to Apps, and click on Microsoft Store. Then we want to click on Search, and we want to type in Minecraft, and we want to head over to the Minecraft Spongebob add-on right here. And then we just want to scroll all the way down until there's three versions of Minecraft. We want to click on the one which has the little accessibility icon right there. Just in case you've clicked on the wrong version of Minecraft, you want to make sure it says install and not currently available. You want to click on install. And now, as you can see, it is installing just fine. And Microsoft Store also wants to update. So that means we have installed the old version correctly. All right, now that Minecraft has finished installing, we just want to click on it again. And it should say, Minecraft needs an update. The update size should be about zero kilobytes. And now, we just sit back and wait for the 1.82 gigabyte update to do its thing. There we go, as you can see the two Minecrafts that were just on recently installed just combined. And now, if we open up Minecraft, it will work just fine. It's just now we should have mods. Now, I didn't get any sort of mods or skins or texture packs, but I will say when you add mods, skins, resources, whatever, it will basically work. It's just this tutorial was kind of a how to fix your Minecraft to install, if that even makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. It's just one of those days. But if you did find this tutorial helpful, make sure to leave a like and and move on with your day, I guess. You can subscribe if you want. I don't want to force you to. If you have any issues, make sure to comment them down below or join my Discord server and create a support ticket. And apart from that, my name has been Sam or CoolSam999. Have a good day, evening or night, and I'm out.